very good morning to you. You're watching Britain's brightest breakfast start on TV. This is GM TV. It's Thursday the 4th of uh, February. The time, 7 o'clock, and I'm Eamon Holmes. And I'm Fiona Armstrong. Later this morning, the amazing story of the model who began life as a man and now wants her sister to have a surrogate child for her. As well as that, we've got some pop guests for you. They're both celebrating successful chart comebacks. We'll be chatting to Lulu and Duran Duran later. This is how the next hour is looking. After the news and weather, Hello Magazine's Maggie Goodman and Labour's Harriet Harman take a look inside today's papers. Then at about 20 past seven, we look at a publishing success story that is helping Britain's death. Your local news is at half past, followed by our double helping of cartoons. Uh, just before 10 to 8, Duran Duran will be here to talk about life back in the top 10 after a three-year absence. Yeah. Okay, all that to come between now and 8 o'clock. First, the May national and international news. Here's Sue Savile with that. Thank you. Good morning. The Prime Minister has hinted that Britain's three million unemployed may soon have to work for their dole money. Labour has demanded an explanation after Mr Major said he was looking at work schemes similar to those in America. This from Gavin Partington. It's the first time John Major has given his personal support for a controversial scheme which would make the unemployed work for their dole money. His message for Britain's jobless came in a speech to fellow Tories at London's Carlton Club. Cabinet colleagues, including Employment Secretary Gillian Shepherd, believe it's too expensive. Labour say it's an insult. If it means we're going down the old workfare road, uh, where people are put in dead-end jobs under compulsion, press Labour with the promise that they'll be left with no visible means of support if they don't cooperate, then obviously that is just going to breed bitterness and, and failure and it's not what we want. But in America, the unemployed are already doing it. The workfare scheme forces the jobless to do community work for their cash. Something similar here is backed by many Tories. It would be very good news if before they drew their dull money, they actually had to do 40 hours work, just like you and I do, before they were paid. Workfare schemes are regarded by many here at Westminster as political dynamite. But with unemployment set to rise for many months to come, the Prime Minister is clearly desperate to find a solution. Gavin Partington, GMTV News. The government's U-turn over army cuts may be at the expense of the Navy and Air Force. It's emerged that a squadron of tornado fighters and a new Navy helicopter carrier may be scrapped to pay for keeping some regiments intact. Here's our political correspondent, Michael Hastings. Rumours at Westminster say these are the planes on which the axe will fall, while the Royal Navy is likely to lose its new helicopter carrier. Defence Secretary Malcolm Rifkin says nothing has been decided. I mean, that's completely baseless speculation. If I can explain how baseless it is, uh, the helicopter ship to which you refer would cost about 170 million. Uh, the announcements that we made uh, yesterday uh, cost about 80 million. Speculation it may be, but defence experts say it makes sense. I think that uh, the government has to make further cuts and top of the agenda must be cutting manpower in the Royal Air Force and that must include squadrons of aircraft. The loss of the helicopter carrier is a blow for the Royal Navy and for Tyneside's Swan Hunter shipyard. There are two and a half thousand people working at present at Swan Hunters and work for them would run out. News of the price that may be paid has muted the cheers that greeted yesterday's announcement by Defence Secretary Malcolm Rifkin of plans to save 5,000 army jobs. Michael Hastings, GMTV.